the immediate aftermath of voting day, we did see the dollar gain, gain strength, as it seemed that some of those uh, uh, trades around Biden's success were unwound a little bit. Where do you see the path of the US dollar from here? I see, I see it firmly going to the downside, with the exception just being any moments of geopolitical risk, you know, possible flare-ups on that side. Um, but I think if we do get uh, Joe Biden confirmed as the, as the next president as well, the prospect of there being geopolitical flare-ups will diminish significantly over the next four years. So, look, on the dollar, we're, we're firmly bearish, um, you know, with regards to levels, uh, we see the, the euro rising to 130 against the dollar for June of next year. Um, you know, similar for, for other major crosses. Um, so it, it really is that next year, with the geopolitical risks uh, reducing and really with the, the global economy uh, going back into a cyclical upswing, um, then the downside to the dollar is really very significant. It means that you're going to struggle if you're a foreign investor to, to make money by investing in dollar assets unless you hedge those FX risks. Um, okay. So that's where we, we, we see major opportunities that's outside of dollars.